What's going on guys? We're about to open up the Aquamax Cone SQ5 in some protein skimmer. Um, I just recently got this thing in the mail. I Actually, it's the second one that I've gotten in the mail. First one I got in the mail was completely busted, broken apart, had to send it back, got the new one in. Uh, so let's get started unboxing the new one. Open up the new protein skimmer. Um, the current protein skimmer that I have on the tank is pretty much for, well, I got it from my old tank, which is a hundred and something gallon, 120 gallon tank. So I was in dire need of a new skimmer. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up, and uh, I'm gonna go through everything, what I think about it, pros and cons, I guess. We'll see what, you know, what it's like. I've never used this type of skimmer before. So, this will be our first time together. So this box was previously opened up by the store that I got it from because I ordered this probably a couple of weeks ago, got it in the mail or got it in the store uh, about a week ago and brought it home and opened it up and it was completely busted. Um, so luckily this one looks good. Thank you Jesus. All right. Here's a collection cup. Way, way bigger than my other one. Way bigger than my other one. Looks nice. Nice design. Definitely looks like the bubbles uh, can overflow into the collection cup a little bit easier than the other one that I have, which is an old reef octopus. Um, I'm not even sure what model it is, to be honest. Very nice. Set that off to the side. I'm going to get everything out of these boxes so that I can then be okay. <laughs> I think this one has a whole bunch of those bubble, those foam insert pieces. That, oh yeah, things get everywhere. All right, perfect spot to put it. All right. Nice, sturdy. Oh, the other one around here was broke as well. I don't know how. Right, everything out of the box. Get the crap out of my way. Instructions. 
I usually don't use the instructions, but let's make sure <laughs> let's make sure I get this on right. Um, let's see, they got any, I could go off of pictures. Okay. Maybe they don't have, that's it. That's all we got. Self-explanatory, I guess. Huh. Okay, so let's see. Never used a shark pump, so I'm not quite sure of the quality of it. Looks good. Looks to me deceiving though, so. Your guess is as good as mine. If any of you have ever used a shark pump, let me know if these are good or not. I did see that uh, this model jumped up in the size of the shark pump, whereas the model just beneath this one, good for up to 300 gallons or so, um, uses a, a, sm a smaller shark pump. Probably not even gonna use this audio, it'll probably be so distorted from the tank, but. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so I've got this. How? Uh, okay, here we go. So, how does this? So, this comes off. Dog hair. The struggle of having pets. Dog hair all over this thing.
Huh. I should have thought about that, huh? Where's this? Oh, this sets on that piece there. things out of sight, out of mind, set it to the side, and then I completely forgot about this needle wheel plate here. Got a little screw here, just screws into this base plate. This just slides right on. All right. So you can center it. Jeez. this on is this little pack that comes up from the motor. Okay, so it, it looks like it is free to move. I don't know how much of an impact that will have on the final result. If it will, over the course of time, will it vibrate out of place? Will it even affect the bubbles or the protein skimmer capability if it does vibrate out of place? So we got the drain for the skimmer cup. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on the end of this for now. Since I do not have something in place to put the skimming in. All right. Okay, so now while I'm getting everything set up, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, protein skimmer. Uh, so the footprint of this skimmer is 10.7 inches by 13.4 inches. It's 19.7 inches high and it uses a Shark 6.0 pump. Um, it's rated at a uh, 550 gallons for a light bio load. 450 gallons for a medium bio load and 300 gallons for heavy bio load. Now my tank is roughly 380 gallons plus a half of a 75 gallon tank uh, for the pump or for the sump. So I'm looking at, I, I feel like I'm looking at roughly 400 gallons total after you add in all the rocks into the tank, all the sand, um, roughly 400 gallons. So I ended up going with this particular model uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, the fact that the 
pump is internal and it saves me space in my sump and I've had such an issue with the external pumps moving around, it wiggles off every now and then and then you got bubbles blowing all into your, uh, your sump. That's a pain, I didn't want to deal with that anymore. Um, and then for the other reason, obviously, price. This uh, protein skimmer is the cheapest, in my opinion, the cheapest quality uh, skimmer that I could find. Um, I didn't want to go with something that I was going to run into issues in the future. I wanted something that was sturdy um, and based on the reviews of these Aquamax skimmers, based on you know videos that I've watched about them on here on YouTube and, and looking through forums, these seem to be um, good quality for the price. I needed something big, you know, because of the size of my tank, but I did not want to spend, you know, more than I spent on the tank itself just for the skimmer. So let me get this nasty cup off. Uh, I was at work yesterday and I just replaced this. I just cleaned it out the day before. So this is only about a day of skimming. All right, I need to find Go to my apex, turn off the skimmer. Unplug the skimmer. Take this nasty thing out. To be honest, I'm worried that I'm gonna run out of space in here. This skimmer is huge, this new one. I'm just hoping that it fits. We shall see, I guess. Being that this old one had an external, has an external pump, I'm hoping that the added footprint of the the new bigger skimmer won't be a problem. All right. And I don't even know if I need that homemade uh, skimmer plate or not. Oops. Leaking water everywhere. But the wife is in tone. This cord is extremely short. I'm gonna run into an issue with this. I am probably gonna end up having to put an extension cord in this thing. For a skimmer as big as this, it is a little bit strange that this cord is so small. All right, moment of truth, doesn't look like it fits. Crossing my fingers here, got a cord underneath it. Hey Amen, look at that. Over. This looks good. This looks good. It's wanting to float. It doesn't look like it's even willing to take on some water. Sealed pretty tight in there. So now I need to find a solution for my cord problem. I believe I've got some kind of extension cord laying around somewhere. So it's situations like these that you actually realize that you had a poor design. You know, whenever I set this tank up, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible to maintain, to work on. Um, but all of my cords 
you know, my chord management area, which is very poor, but it's all the way in the back, such a pain in the butt to even reach and get to. As you can see here, I'm having a little bit of an issue trying to reach all my chords. Uh, I'm sure I can address it later on at some point. Looks good. I haven't put the skimmer cup on there, so let's check this out. It looks like I might have an issue here. Let's see if I need to slide this thing over. Let me get it over. The edge of the skimmer cup is touching the allergy scrubber outlet, but since the skimmer cup has a super easy way to put it on and off uh, with the quarter turn design, I don't see it being a big issue. Now I just need to wait a little while to allow the skimmer to break in so that I can adjust the levels to the correct height to get it tuned in. All right, so I had to remove the skimmer cup or the skimmer platform that I had made so that I could get the bubble levels high enough. The very fine tuned knob here on the right hand side, it made it real easy, it's a pretty, Pretty cool design, totally different from the Reef Octopus. But that's it for today, hopefully you learned something new. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for future aquarium videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions as to what's going on in my videos, please let me know.